Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyNote2.com. So I've got a quick overview of the Asylum Core. Uh, this is the Note 2 Core kernel, uh, the Asylum Core version. Uh, let me show you what I'm running. This is for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2, or if you have the International GTN 7105, I'm actually running it on my uh, AT&T SGH i3.1.7. Um, so if you have an AT&T uh, SGH i317 or i3.1.7M, uh, which is a Canadian variant, or if you have a GTN 7105, you can install this kernel. I'm actually running uh, N7105 ROM. Um, it has actually no name for this ROM, but you can also run it on Jedi X. Um, I think it comes with uh, Note 2 Core, but this is the Asylum uh, Core version. This one allows you to overclock up to uh, 1.92 gigahertz, as I've seen here. I don't actually recommend running at that speed, uh, unless you have a handy, uh, if, if battery isn't a concern to you, then I would run it, you know, if you're running in the house or something. But uh, if you need, you know, the maximum battery life, I would just set it around 1.704 at most, or maybe 1.8. Uh, but just for fun, we'll set it at 1.92. I'll run some tests here and uh, see how fast our phone can run. Let's first do a quad run here and uh, let's see what kind of numbers we can get here. 1.92 gigahertz. You know, it's just taking our note to, to the limit and this is kind of fun. Um, you know. <laughs> A great way to kill time and show off your how fast your phone is to your friends and I know there's faster phones out nowadays but then you know if you overclock it you can make it just as fast as you know all those phones and since the Note 2 comes with a battery that's you know super super big um, over most other phones you know you can overclock it and still get a pretty good battery life over um, the other you know battery uh, battery less phones or, you know, non-removable phones, uh, non-removable batteries, phones with non-removable batteries. All right, I'm mumbling now. 8,099, wow. And also the GPU has been overclocked, I think to 600 megahertz. Uh, you don't have to do anything with that one. And let's run uh, N22. I know some of you were complaining that I only ran quadrants. And uh, let's see what kind of numbers we can get here. Uh, start test and uh, boom shakalaka. Let's do this and uh, This is a pretty good kernel to run Note 2 Core. Um, this the one I'm testing is uh, Make sure when you install it you install the correct version uh, the one I'm using is I think for Android 4.1.2 and 4.1.1 um, in, If in the future this you know Android version gets updated by Samsung to 4.2 and 4.2.1 or higher You'll need to find a kernel that's compatible, um, you know, and this kernel probably will be updated. So check the XDA thread if that's the case. Otherwise, you can use the version um, I'm using here, and uh, I will show you. Well, I think I actually showed you, uh, but this is going to be interesting. To see how fast your phone can go, and I think this is one of the better better kernels out there. And if, even if you don't overclock your phone, um, this is a pretty darn cool kernel. And also, um, you can install pretty much any N7105 kernels on the AT&T version, because they pretty much share the same uh, hardware, you know, LTE. So, if you have an LTE phone, it uh, should be compatible. Just don't install it on phones like Verizon, um, or, you know, yeah, because it's not compatible. And T-Mobile does not have LTE chip, so it's not going to be compatible either. And also Sprint probably will not be compatible. Only GSM LTE, so 7105 or AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Um, or if you have a Canadian I, you know, i3317M. Yeah, these model numbers are driving me nuts. But uh, let's see how fast this thing can go. Um, I'm going to just let it... Let it play through here, and uh, to install this, very easy. Just uh, reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, or if you're using Twerp, and then just you don't have to do any wipe. Just install from zip card, and then uh, select the zip. The kernel comes in a zip format, and uh, you know if you're worried, if you're paranoid, always just make a backup ROM before you install a kernel. That way, you know if you do something wrong, maybe you install the wrong kernel, 
um, you can always restore your ROM and get everything back easily. That's the whole point of backing up ROMs and you know restoring ROMs. Um, so this is almost done here, and I've actually used this uh, for a day or two now, and uh, you know I haven't had any problems. Just makes your phone faster, and uh, uh, you know not too bad. There we go. It's almost done here. And I'm getting a 720 frames per second. 13 frames, 11.8 frames per second there. And uh, we'll see what the result is. And 8,000 on quadrant is is pretty ridiculously fast. Um, so I mean, your Note 2 is, you know, it's already fast, you know, one of the fastest phones in the world. Um, and also Galaxy S4 will be coming soon th uh, this year in a couple months and uh, that's going to be very interesting and also Galaxy Note 3 will be out uh, end of this year those will be very interesting there's a lot of rumors people say they'll be using a flexible uh, display I don't know how that's going to work but let's see 18,780 look at the numbers uh, 9,000 for CPU GPU 5565 RAM 3252 IO 91 nine, nine, one one. <laughs> All right, so pretty darn good speeds. Um, check it out. Test uh, for if you have an AT and Galaxy Note two or N seventy one hundred five. Try it out. Um, don't forget to leave in the comment section below of your best scores and uh, uh, or on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there, and also if you have a Galaxy Note two. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote2.com. We update you once a week with Ronald Week Tips, Hacks, and more. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, stay high on Android and uh, enjoy the uh, Note 2 kernel. Asylum Core at uh, 1.92 gigahertz. That's quad core. Yeah, baby.